Greetings Internet, I hope you're doing well. Today we're gonna talk about classic server release for Korean game Blade and Soul. And I'm gonna give you three reasons why you should be excited about it. Unfortunately, we don't know all the details yet, so please calm down your hype from ah just to ah because ah is guaranteed for now. But before we start, some history lessons, because not everyone is balding fat fuck that is thousand year old like me and remember old days. So, it all started 2012. Game got released in Korea, but its parent company, NCSoft, also ruined project here. It co it's called Wildstar. So they didn't release Blade and Soul in NA or EU until end of 2015, beginning of 2016, because they got Wildstar. They don't want their uh, titles to cannibalize each other, you know? And what was happened 2016? Black Desert, that would look way modern, had the same premise, uh, flashy combat, look better, and no one gives a fuck about four-year-old game on this point. By 2018, NCSoft realized that only one left playing the game are handicapped gacha coomers that cannot press more than two buttons. So the game receive a mobile treatment, auto questing, auto fishing, farming, one button combo, you know, your classics. And then I stopped giving a fuck completely because it I am not no longer the target audience. You fast forward to modern days, 2024. NCSoft unannounced that they are restarting the game. It's back to its 2014 state. We are refining the mechanics, we are improving the graphic. Two weeks ago, this wizard had traveled to land of China, where there is currently open beta version of the game being tested by Chinese community to see if the promises are getting delivered or we just are getting finessed again. And it with pleasure, I'm reporting that the game had returned to it 2014 pre-retarded state. The graphing improvement in terms of environment is huge. You can see the clips behind. I made them personally, comparing the old version of the game to the new one. The character models were not so much impacted. Yeah, but they are still good enough. Anyway, let's go straight to the point. First reason why you should play this game is its combat. And I may sound crazy, you may say that I'm sniffing my own farts and I get high, but I personally believe this game have the best combat in the history of MMO. Hey, but let me explain how it works and you're gonna judge it by yourself. It is hybrid between target and non-target style of combat. You know Black Desert? Or you know World of Warcraft, they have baby together, uh, 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 and this is what it comes out of it. So you can see this huge as Corsair is in the middle. You go over the monster, Gish, it's now target, and all your skills gonna aim and they not gonna miss. But if you're gonna move a bit around, boom, you lose your target. So you need to keep your eyes on your shit. But there is no desyncs and everything is aiming, you don't miss. The second pillar of this combat system are dynamic skills. Depends if your target is grounded or it's stunned and also on distance between you and the monster, the skills are changing that are available to you. Depends on the situation. So let me show it to you. So when you go closer to the monster, you see, I get access to the top skill. I'm getting closer, I'm getting closer, I'm getting closer. And when I'm in a range, my operation range, I have a variety of other options. You see, I'm gonna back down a bit. Poof. I can no longer use some of those skills. So, let's try it for now. Let's try to put the enemy on the ground. Gish, enemy is on the ground. And I'm getting access. I can fucking grab his ass. And do some combo. Let's try stun. Gish, enemy stunned. 
I can send him to the air in kish 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 do the combo. It allows all the characters to have quite amount of the skill as you can see on the picture without seven bars on your UI or global cooldown because you are accessing them with small amount of keys dynamically depends on the status of your target. So how we do damage in this game you may ask. Crowd control CC skills have cooldown. Skills that do only damage have no cooldown. As you can see, there are under my HP, those are those blue ball sacks. So big dick skills that do damage, gish, 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 gish. There you see, they are spending my blue ball sacks. And different skills, gish, gish, they are, re they are replenishing my blue ball sack, they are replenishing the mana. So now I can use the skill that uses the ball sacks again, gish. But hey. Let's put some dramatic PvP music in the background and let me show you how this shit work in practice. Damn. The second reason to try and visit this game is its art director, Huyong Tia Kim. Well, that probably don't tell you much, but Huyong Tia Kim is founder and CEO of Shift Up. Thank you, Lily. Were you the one who sent the rescue signal? This is the largest land I've ever seen in my life. Even in the darkest times, it's always safe to bet on human survival instinct. That's right, it's about tits and us. Game have robust character creation, one of the best in the industry, and a rather particular outfit design. Your primal urges should be fully satisfied with this product. And for the finale, something that might be my personal taste, but I value the game for its immersion. As a teenager, I like to watch all of these, you know, martial arts, fantasy, fighting movies like House of Flying Dodger, Hero. Yes. And when I play this game, it gives me exactly the same vibe. The music, the art, the design of the location come together very nicely. And then when they release the trailer that you can run on walls and on the water, yeah, immediately sold. I think the game captured the vibe of fantasy, ancient, martial, Asian arts really well. Word on the streets and the rumors say that the game gonna be released before the end of the year, in EUNA. Why it's delayed in, in our uh, region? Well, we have Tron and Liberty and they don't want to, those two products to artif artificially uh, compete with each other. So if you're gonna enjoy the game, if you are interested in it, there is one thing you need to do in the end of your journey. Every time I think we have achieved peak of monetization and cash shop operations, Antisoft come out and <laughs> we estimate we can sell up to 80% of an individual's visual field before inducing seizures. So what wizard the recommendation is? It's free game, try it, have fun, and then fuck all of it before it's gonna suck dry your soul and your wallet. That's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the content. Thank you very much for all my golden supporters that keep the channel going. Also, if you want to have more, hey, I sometimes stream on Twitch, like every day. They're fucking useless! GG.
This guy is fucking typing on chat to some random dude and he's owning me here too. This is unbelievable. More content to come. Stay tuned. Poof.